Hi guys, Darko here. Uh, let's just continue with this series. Uh, we are talking about the Holy Grail, right? What is the Holy Grail of trading? And uh, there is actually, and I'm, and I'm dead serious, uh, there is actually a Holy Grail in trading, uh, and that is trade management and risk management. Uh, I get so many emails about from traders, clients, uh, people that's following these blogs and everything. They say, you know, Darko, okay, I know where to enter. But once I'm in a trade, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just, I don't know where to put my stop loss, where to take profits, how to take profits, uh, and where's my final target, like exit is so, so difficult. I just don't have an idea. And this, and this is the same with risk management. So what, what do I, what do I mean by risk management is that, you know, there are, especially when you are joining our service and you're not familiar on, on how we are trading, is that I could very well have a break even week, you might be down 10%. I could be, I could be up, say 2%, you are down 5%. And there will be a, a moment where you might think that I'm BSing you, that this guy, you know, how could be, how could he be like up 2% when like, you know, I'm down five. And this is the answer because trade management and risk management is, and I'm dead serious, is the holy grail that you are looking for in trading. Okay, you need to have a rock solid game plan for when, when I'm in a trade, how do I need to do things? That's super, super important. You need to have like super clear, here. this is my entry, this is my stop loss, if I take profit, I'm not a big fan of it, but if I take profit, like scaling, sorry, scaling, is where do I scale? Do I scale like five pips just because I'm nervous, because I had a losing week last week or a losing month last month? You know, if you take, if you are like scaling, where do you scale and why do you scale? Do you scale just because you are, you are up a certain amount of pips or are you scaling because there's a, as, as you know, a solid game plan where and how do scaling. And obviously you also need to have a final target, okay? When it comes to risk management is that if you are taking like four pending orders, you know, pound cat, pound Aussie, pound Swissy, pound yen, you have four pending orders, all four are, you know, getting filled, okay? You know, the probability is if one of them is losing, all four of them will losing. Why? Because you have pound, in this specific case as your base currency, okay? So that means if you are taking trades with any of the, you know, pairs, like, you know, it could be Euro, it could be Pound, whatever pair that is. If there are, if you have four, five, six trades with the same currency in it, you need to risk reduce, okay? So this, that took me ages to figure out, and this is super important. If you don't risk reduce, let's just say that you risk 0.5% of your, of your account, that's what we do suddenly you're down, you know, 2%, okay? If you are taking, you know, uh, six trades, that's that's even more, okay? So, and, and this is what I mean. Uh, when you are taking these four, six, five, whatever amount of trade that is, you just split that with the amount of risk you are taking on any given trade. So let's just say we, yeah, you get my point. You just take the amount of number of, of, of pending order. Let's just say that you have four pending order. Uh, that means four divided by the amount of risk you are taking. That in our case will be 0.5%. So that means uh, uh, four divided by 0.5. So you are not taking a full loss. Like if you lose on everything, on every of those four, you, you just lost 0.5%. So and this is what I mean. Oh, we had four losing trades. Yeah, but I lost 0.5%. How much did you lose? Okay. And this is what I mean. I, I might lose 0.5%. You might be down, you know, 2%. Or there are people that is actually risking more than 0.5%. And that's the problem. Uh, you know, some people risk 5%, 10%, and that's insane. That's gambling. Okay. So trade management, risk management is your holy grail. If you are working on anything, guys, listen, a strategy, I, I, I can show you any strategy that I'm trading. I can teach you that within less than an hour. Okay, so trade management and risk management is what you need to focus on to get this 
turn around for you. And if you are a break even trader, 100% is your challenges is trade management and risk management. Once you figure that out, you will turn yourself into from a losing trade, uh, a losing trader up to uh, uh, a winning trader. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much for listening. And until next time, stay safe and take care. Cheers.